everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we'll be talking about my most anticipated read for the remainder of 2023. Let's get going. So my first book is Immortal Longings by Chloe Gong. It's every year thousands in the kingdom of Talon will flock to its capital twin cities, Sanon, where the palace holds a set of games. But those confident enough in the ability to jump between bodies, competitors across Santa fight to the death to win unimaginable riches. So the Scalia to Liam works in hiding. Five years ago, a massacre killed her parents, left the palace of Earth empty, and she was the one who did it. Before King Cass's forces and Sally can catch her, her plans to finish the job and bring down the monarchy, her new exclusive uncle always greets the victor of the games. So if she wins, she gets her opportunity to at last kill him. Enter Anton Marcusa, an aristocrat. His childhood love has lain in the coma since they were both ousted from the palace, and he's deep in debt trying to keep her alive. Thankfully, he is one of the best jumpers in this kingdom, flitting from body to body at will. Last chance at saving her is entering the games and winning. So I think this is like a meet to love. Anthony and Cleopatra, so that sounds really cool. So I do want to mention I have actually mentioned all these books before, but there are some new ones as well, so I'm just gonna slowly and re uh, quickly summarize of what the book's about. So my next one is Shanghai Immortal by A. Y. Shao. Pawned by her mother to the king of hell as a child. Li Jing is half vampire, half Jing, Fox, Pivot, and all Sassel. As the king's ward, she has spent the past 90 years running errands, dodging the taunts of the spiteful Hyunjing courtiers, and trying to control her explosive temper with varying levels of success. So when Jing overhears the courtiers plotting to steal a priceless dragon pearl from the king, she seizes her chance to expose them once and for all. Next book is Zara, the number one book in Guardians of Dawn by S. Jane Jones. Magic flickers, love flames, chaos reigns. Magic is forbidden throughout the morning realms, magicians are called up nomination, and blamed for the plague of monsters that raised the land 20 years below, before. And Jin Zara already had enough to worry about. A piece of stepmother's cruel limbs, looking after her blind sister, blind younger sister and keeping her own magical gifts under control without having to deal with rumors of monsters re-emerging in the marsh. But when his chance encounter with an easily flustered young man named Han brings her into contact with a secret magical liberation organization called the Guardians of Dawn, Zella realizes there may be more to these rumors than she thought. A mysterious plague is corrupting the magicians of Zanhi and transforming them into monsters and the Guardians of Dawn believe a demon is responsible. So this is like the anime inspired by Sailor Moon, which I love Sailor Moon. I, I really thought it's the best anime out there, so I'm really excited to read this one. So my next book is Throne of the Fallen by Kay Maniscalco, and this is basically like the following the Princess of Hell, like the seven Princess of Hell from Kingdom of the Wicked Trilogy, or series I think it was. Um, but we are starting with Envy, I believe. It is with Prince Envy. So, Sinner, Villain, Ruthless. These are wicked names the Prince of Envy welcomes. They remind him what he is in, a saint. And when the cryptic note arrives, signaling the beginning of a daily game, he knows he'll be caught much worse before it ends. Middles, hex objects, anonymous players, nothing will stand in his way. With the powerful artifact and his own future at stake, Henry is determined to win, though none of his meticulous plans prepare him for her. The frustrating artist who ignites his sin and passion like no other. And my next, and I'm really excited for this one, it was a sequel to House of Salt and Sour, and, but this is, uh, uh, this is a sequel, House of Roots and Moon by Aaron A. Craig. I'm really excited for this one, I really love the first one. So, in, in the matter by the sea, one sister is still cursed. Despite dreams of adventures far beyond the southern shores, 17 year old Vanity Thomas has remained at her family's estate, Highmore, with her older sister Camille, 
My ancestors have scattered, scattered across Ukraine. Sister Mercy sends word that the Duchess of Glowen, wife of a celebrated botanist, is interested in having Valentine paint a portrait of her son. Alexander, Valentine jumps at the chance, but Camille won't allow it. Forced to reveal the secret she kept for years, Camille tells Valentine the truth one day. Valentine is still seeing ghosts, and she just doesn't know it. My next book is Bling Me Near Midnight by Rachel Griffins. Tana's fair child fate has never been a question. Her life has been planned out since the moment she was born. She is to marry the governor's son, Landon, and secure an unprecedented alliance between the witches of her island home and the mainlanders who see her very existence as a threat. Tana's comment has appeased those who fear the power for years by releasing most of the magic into the ocean during the full moon. But when Tana misses the midnight ritual, a fatal mistake, there is no one she can turn to for help until she meets Wolf. Wolf claims he is from a coven that practices dark magic, making him one of the only people who can help her. But he refuses to let Tana's power rush into the sea, and instead he teaches her his forbidden magic, a magic that makes her feel powerful, alive. Interesting that we can do magic at the full moon, because full moon is when it's powerful and strongest, that's when we see the waves so high up the next day, so. I find that really interesting. Next book is a, is a sequel to Foul Lady Huntsman and it's Foul Lady Fortune, sorry. And this is called Foul Heart Huntsman by Chloe Gong. Winter is drawing thick in 1932 Shanghai and it is the ever nearing threat of a Japanese invasion. Mother Lin Lang has suffered the worst possible fate for a national spy. She has been exposed. With the media storm camped outside her apartment for the infamous Lady Fortune, she has barely left her bedroom in weeks, plotting her next course of action after Orion was taken and his memories of Rosalind wiped. Damage might have been a sham, to his absence has more than any physical round. She won't rest until she gets him back. And this is where I say all in the name of love. I am kidding. And my final book is Epic of Hell and Tia. Yeah. I am Jane Penkel. When a madman sees the throne, the gods in Olympus fell silent, and the island of Hell and Thea went on into the cave. Dragos assured these events are no coincidence and convinces Kelvick and Gadnor to join him in a rebellion against the king, hoping to incur favor with the gods and restore prosperity to the ravaged lands. Confident of their purpose, they embark on a journey to rally support for war, leaving Dragos' sister Gavinia safe behind the walls of Shalinyat. But the king's spies have been watching, waiting for the right moment to strike and make them example for their treasonous ideas. Tomorrow follows their footsteps and they're confronted with the terrifying truth that not all who dwell on Olympus want the island to recover, and some will stop and nothing for it sure and hell in fear spirals deeper into chaos. But when, just when all hope seems lost, one emerges from a dark secret that can bring peace to the island. But at what cost? It's like imbued with the essence of Homer's epic, the Iliad, and then like the MJ Pank means gods, goddesses, heroes, and heroines come alive and all of the flawed complexities. And so, I actually haven't read the Iliad, but I do really want to. And so, I think it'll be a fun read, like the Odyssey and the Iliad. So, I think it'll be a fun read. But anyways, those are all the books I want to read for the remainder of this year. Let me know what anticipated books you have in store and please like, comment, and subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post and I will see you in my next one. Bye!